Okay, that is a torch. Hey everybody, welcome back to Life in the North 40. I'm Rick. Some of you have requested in our comments um, from my 10 Seas of Survival Preparedness video, if you haven't seen that, there's a part one and a part two, the first five C's of survivability and the second five C's of sustainability. If you saw the section under combustion, you saw that I highlighted and I showed what I call the super match that I make. Today, we're gonna show you how to make the super match and we're gonna discuss how awesome the super match is. I appreciate all your support, uh, supporting our channel. 80% of our viewers are non-subscribed. So please, if you haven't subscribed, please hit that subscribe button and hit the alerts as well so you know when we post new content. I appreciate that. This super match is highly flammable, will work great in very wet or inclement weather conditions. This thing burns like a torch, burns hot. It's about uh, just about four and a half inches long and a half inch diameter, so it's very packable and lightweight. You see that I have this uh, wrapped in cellophane, and the reason I wrap it in cellophane uh, is just to keep it containerized. If this is sitting in your kit in a hot vehicle, the wax in here can indeed melt. So the cellophane just keeps that containerized. If this does soften up, it'll re-harden when the temperature drops. It'll keep it intact, if you will. Plus it does, even though this is uh, wrapped in wax, sealed in wax, it's just another layer of waterproofing uh, and protection. Plus it is flammable and it's a form of tinder. So let's do a quick strike on this and see how this thing burns. So you see I've just rolled that in the cellophane. Now we're down to the actual wax and the painter's tape. Uh, as I demonstrate how to make one of these, I'll show you how to put this on here. But the reason for the painter's tape is so you can access the striker heads. It keeps those from getting covered in wax. I do put that on first and I dip the wax to overlap the edge of that. So I have a, uh, a waterproof edge. So let's go ahead and try this baby out. A quick aside here before I start this to show you, I got the super match here and the Titan Stormproof Matches box. This is the striker that is needed since these are the matches that I use in here. You know, I mentioned in one of my previous videos back when we were kids, seeing a lot more Strike Anywhere matches. You know, they have become hard to find because of safety. Um, the intent is, is that you can't light that match without the, the box it comes with, with the striker. The reality is, is that's not as good for a survival scenario because now you require the striker. A strike anywhere match like these, I can literally strike those without the striker. Uh, you know, like the old cowboy movies, the guys are off their jeans, they light their cigar, they light their cigarette. But these are diamond brand strike anywhere. Now, there is not a heavy duty waterproof windproof match that I've found that's a strike anywhere so that is a downside but I just wanted to make you aware so it will be good for you to have in your kits if you are going with a wooden match in some of your kits why not use a strike anywhere and a little technique or trick you simply dip the head in wax past the striker head um, into the wood a little bit and cover that with wax you've just now made a waterproof match when you strike that it'll knock the wax off and light it so just FYI this is not a competitor for the super match the super match is so much more than that but I just did want to discuss the strike anywhere concept all right let's light this baby and let's see how many times it takes me to strike this before I can get it to light and let's see uh, how that really works and how how hot it goes and how direct that heat goes See I almost got it going there There we go, so it took me four or five strikes to get through the wax, but uh, look at that Okay, that is a Torch it's literally pushing the flame out um, Listen to that Can You hear that? It's like a mini jet engine. That right there is invaluable in inclement weather for fire starting. This thing goes and it goes hot. Okay, so I just wanted you to be able to see that and I want you to realistically understand what the super match is giving you. I mean, that is an intense flame. Man, I can feel the heat from here. You see it's kicking off a little black smoke because of the burning wax. 
But I'll tell you what, that thing is putting off some BTUs. It's really kicking the heat off. There's no doubt in my mind getting that, once I got that lit, it could be pouring rain, it could be snowy out, icy out, cold out. That right there is definitely gonna provide immediate heat, immediate flame, and stay going due to the wax, in addition to the matches inside. So very, very hot, very good direct flame. You saw at first it was literally blowing out like a torch, but look at how that's still burning. And it's working its way down now. So your burn time on this is probably, um, I didn't start my timer here, but you can see it. I would say that thing will probably burn cumulative time about 10 minutes uh, from my previous uses as well. So you see that this uh, particular super match, I made this like three years ago. This has actually been in my bug out bag, in my inner uh, um, plastic grab and go kit. If you haven't seen my Gray Man Bug Out Bag video, please watch it and you'll see I have a super match included in there. You'll see that grab and go uh, plastic Plano box that I have in there and what kind of things I put in that and why. So, I mean, look at that, still going, all right? All right, so while that's continued to burn, let's talk about the components, okay, to make this super match. You're gonna need some basic items. These are very simple to make. And I'm gonna show you how to do that. You're gonna need Gulf Paraffin Wax, household wax. This, if you haven't seen our fire starter video, we use this as well. This is the same product that to take like a strike anywhere match and just waterproof them. You, you're gonna to wanna to use this Gulf Wax. This is um, used for canning typically. I used to use it to um, wax my skis and so on. So what do I need to make the super match? Well, you're gonna need four Titan Stormproof matches by Yuko. Um, this is a box of 25 matches. It comes with some extra strikers in here to put into a kit. I'll show you those in a minute. These matches are just over four inches long total length. Look how long those are. I'm gonna show you a Titan match next to a normal wooden match. You probably can't even hardly see the wooden match. I mean, that little wooden match just goes up to the burning material on here. So you'll see that oh, way bigger, okay? Um, this was uh, rated um, number one under Backpacker Magazine in 2015 for their snow award. It won the snow award, these matches. These even tout that you could submerge these in water, wipe them off, and they'll light. So these can be submerged and lit. So now that's now you understand why I use four matches to make my super match. Okay, so these are a little spendy. Um, these uh, Yuko does make a smaller, they call it the stormproof match. It's not as big, less burning material, less length. So this is their Titan. This is the biggest match they make. So this match is won several awards and um, now you know why I'm using it. Okay, so you're gonna need Gulf Wax. You're gonna need the Titan, Yuko Titan stormproof matches. You're gonna need two cotton makeup pads per super match. So this is what the pack looks like of the makeup pads. I got these at Walmart for I think under two bucks. You're also gonna need a roll of, I recommend blue painter's tape. You could use non-blue uh, masking tape, but painter's tape's known for peeling off fairly easily and not sticking and peeling off your paint. So that's why I like to use that for my coverage of the heads of the matches. You're also gonna need a pot to boil hot water and a glass container, I, I recommend Pyrex. You'll see me do the demonstration to melt our wax. Thing is still going. Um, you know, total burn time could be over 10 minutes on that, but you see I'm still going with that. Um, this thing is just a great item to have for inclement weather fire starting. I mean, this is pretty much a must. Um, and when you see how easy these are to make, you're gonna agree. Okay, so, like I said, you're getting a lot of product here and they are a little more expensive. I didn't show you, you're getting uh, two extra strikers that are fairly compact to be able to put in a, a smaller kit or whatever. That is a liability. You're gonna have to have the striker that comes with these to light them. So I don't like that. Have I tried to strike these on all kinds of things to see if they light? I have not. Um, they may indeed light without the striker on certain items. I just haven't tested that. I'm gonna do a quick uh, demo of how easy this is to make a super match. We're gonna go ahead and boil our wax here. That's the most time consuming part is just the time it takes to boil the wax. Okay, so what we have to do here is prep our wax. And how much wax do you need? Well, it depends on how many match super matches you're gonna make. Right now, I have 
one and a portion left from the last time I made fire starters. So I'm gonna use one, and it looks like about one and a half blocks. Again, you're gonna fully submerge, dip each side, so you get it coated in wax, and sometimes you can let it dry, do a quick dry, and then do a second coat. So you want it just to assist in melting quicker. I just chop this stuff up into smaller hunks. Quick safety note, this is highly flammable, this wax. You do not want, in the case of a propane burner or a natural gas burner type cooktop, I have propane. You do not want that flame to jump up and lick over the top of your container. It will light this wax on fire, especially as it starts to melt and become molten. So you want to use the double boiler concept for safety here. Uh, you want to have a well ventilated area too, uh, just FYI and once that melts it'll it'll go down so that is our prep as far as cutting i got my melted wax here just a quick note it's extremely hot so i use a silicone hot pad or hot mitt so it can get submerged in the water it doesn't burn me so it's just, you're gonna have to fish that out of the hot boiling water. Just so you're aware too, I told you I'd let you know how much molten wax, a block and a half of the Gulf wax, one and a half blocks is basically a cup of melted wax. You're gonna need those two makeup pads. You're gonna need four of the Titan Stormproof matches from Yuko. So the first thing you wanna do is get your four Titan matches together, nice and even, okay. Then I'm going to take and go right below the brown and I'm going to wrap my makeup pad around there as I keep those together and I'm just going to kind of tighten that up. We're going to take that painter's tape, we'll do a little top piece to cap the very top and what I'll do is I'll have it overlap and start to grab some of that makeup pad, the tape. So I've got those pretty squared off, just go over the top of it like that. And some of that's going to hit that makeup pad and hold it in place for you, right? So it's kind of grabbing it a little bit. Then just dress it up. Now I'm going to take a length of that to go around the circumference of that. And I'm going to just go right up to that edge. Right up to that edge of that top cap of tape. That, that cap I made of tape on the very top. I'm just going to go ahead and go around. And as I do that, I just got to kind of tuck and fold that makeup pad snug it up so I want it to grab and stick to that top chunk of tape as I go around and so I've, I've sealed that you can do some excess if you want for a uh, quick release so then I'm just gonna have that nice and snug you see that makeup pad is about the right size to go all the way around those four Tighten matches. Okay, so I've got that one. Now I'm going to take the second makeup pad. I'll just go around that. Okay, and that is a little tighter because smaller diameter without the burning material. So now I've got those two, and I pretty much have that prepped. I'm going to have some saran wrap on hand because as that comes out um, of the wax. I'm going to wrap this in a finished product, something like that. And that'll allow that wax to harden and dry and stay sealed. Okay. So I'll just go ahead and put my piece of cellophane or saran wrap right there. So then I can dip this in the wax. And that's just going to seal this, coat this in wax, which is highly flammable. Just let it absorb. I'll let it sit in there for you know, 10 seconds or so. So then, then I'm gonna go ahead and I'll dip this in there as well. And you see it'll come apart a little bit, but that's okay because that's what the cellophane wrap will do is it's gonna help seal that very tightly. So we've got quite a bit of wax on that now. I can take this in, just flip it in around that blue edge and then the base here and then I'm just gonna roll that um, nice and tightly right just roll it on itself and what that's gonna do 
is that plastic is also doesn't stick as, as well to the wax as other things do so it allows you to peel that off fairly easy then I'm just gonna tighten it. you see if that you feel that's fairly warm still it's fairly warm with that molten wax but that is basically what I want to do right there so I've sealed that up if you want to expedite this setting up and hardening you can pop it in the freezer for 10 minutes or so and that'll that'll get that wax to to fully seal you got some wax here um, so there is a super match fairly easy Two makeup pads, four Titan Storm Proof matches, some cellophane and some painter's tape. And there we go. Well everybody, thanks for joining us on our video on how to make the super match. I hope you enjoyed it. You see it's pretty simple. And what an effective way to start a fire, have a fire in itself in very inclement, windy or wet weather. This thing puts out the heat. You saw that. Um, and very useful tool and very compact. So if you have any other ideas for something you're interested in, as far as survival, preparedness, or homesteading tactics or techniques, uh, put it in the comments below and we'll try to crank a video out. Thanks for your time. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We'll see you next week.